I've said many times, Brock has the force. And if you love the Star the Star Wars, you know what I'm talking about. And, and you like Luke Skywalker, like it's something that he has that you can't explain. And what it is in, on, in football terms is the ability to get a football play, have studied and memorized every aspect of it, all the in, all of the tendencies of the defense that you're now going to play, and then can run that play and literally get the most out of it and figure out and decipher through the play who's going to be the one that should get the ball. You know, like Indiana Jones, go through the mystery of the four sections of two and a half seconds that you have to decide and then find that person that's actually going to should have the ball and then deliver it to them and then do it over and over and over again to where, you know, you're unstoppable. Obviously, coming from an office, it's pretty busy. Got a lot of things done. I think he's a money guy as well as a uh -huh. football legend and everything else he's got popping off. But what he just described there about Brock Purdy hasn't really been chatted about enough. Like what he's doing at the rate in which he's doing it, how quickly he's doing it, and how young he is doing it all is a phenomenon almost. What are your thoughts on Brock Purdy and how Shanahan has kind of developed him? No, it's a, it's a great depiction of him because we, we talk about a lot of guys that have a ton of talent, ton of skill set, a lot of quarterbacks that, have, that were taken way higher than this, than this guy was taken, Mr. Irrelevant, that can't do the things that, that he does. His ability just to process. You, you know the length of those plays that Steve's talking about. We got to put them on wristband. I, you, see, you see those play sheets, right? You can't call all those plays in five games. We have that Sims alone. video, remember, from training camp, oh, yeah. where Gruden's giving them inspired to let why a, banana. They have, to, so they have to memorize that the, every one of those calls and then regurgitate. Kyle's telling them in his ear that play call. It's in whatever that verbiage is, whether it's digits, words, this, that, or the other. All the motions and shifts. You know how complicated that offense is, right? Mm -hmm. With the with the pre-snap shifts and motions, handling all that, knowing why it's being called because he's big brain. Okay, it's called in this situation because we're expecting this coverage. And then he snaps the ball. Okay, it is that coverage. If it's not, I diagnose. Okay, it was supposed to be three, but they went split safety. Middle's open now. I and then the anticipatory tor uh, throws, the accuracy of this kid. And then the uh, calmness and poise in the pocket. Second year. Second year. Two NFC championships. Who's done that? Well, Patrick Mahomes I mean, gone to six straight. He, he, yep. Yep. Okay. His Tom his, Brady's gone. Went to nine straight. Mahomes had a year too. Yeah, behind Alex Smith. Mm -hmm. I think Ben went to his first. His first two seasons went to the AFC championship. Mm -hmm. But not. I mean, we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's we're rare. talking about yeah. Hall of Famers. Yeah, that, that's all we're talking about is Mount Rushmore type players. And I think that obviously this week, because it is championship week, there's only four teams left. And obviously, I did a big I'm done with the Brock Purdy slander thing. But it's real. Like I, I, I obviously believe that Brock Purdy has a lot of support behind him. But for one reason or another, there's just a crew that decides. Uh, he hasn't done enough for me yet, which I respect and appreciate if you're that hard of a judge of talent. But to fully comprehend what he's doing. At this level, I think you can't help but say, damn, this dude might go down in the history books, AJ. Yeah, I think I, I before you even started playing the Steve Young video, I thought of that thinking that he kind of accurately describes what that is. And the whole Star Wars situation, I get lost a little bit in all of that. I don't I don't know the ins and outs of Star May Wars. May the fourth be with you. Boom. There we that, go. Yes. The, the two to three birthday. seconds. The thing that he said, the two to three seconds, he he deciphers where does this ball go? What's the defense doing? Here we go. And then the, the ability to deliver it. That's what I think is, is so crazy that we see guys with crazy arm talent, crazy athletic ability. But if you can't do that, if you can't go through your progressions in a quick manner and do it consistently, like you don't have a chance in the NFL. That's like whenever Dan Orlovsky, who we have a big fan, or we're big fans of. And obviously yeah. he is a man who knows football, does a lot of research. He has to take hacks at everything. That is his job. They call for it. They ask him to do that. But he said, you put Mac Jones in that offense, he'll be able to do the same thing. Who says? Who says that's accurate? Mm -hmm. Nobody. But whenever those things are said, not me, when those things are said, people just start thinking, yeah, he is a system. Could, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, anybody that could throw a football could do that. It's like, Oh, so anybody that can throw a football could be an NFL quarterback? Anybody that can catch a football and run fast can be an NFL wide receiver? No, there's levels to this shit. And this guy has only won and played great. It's time that we say what we're witnessing is historic almost out of this. Obviously, last pick of the draft, but as a young guy doing this entire thing. It's almost like thinking about it now that people's opinions on Jimmy G is kind of creeping in. Like, I think everyone is unanimous in the fact that they don't think Jimmy G is that good of a quarterback and that he stinks. And since they went to a Super Bowl with that same team, people are kind of pissed that 
Brock Purdy is doing the Jimmy G thing, but people want to bury Brock Purdy instead of kind of lift him up. And maybe that's just us talking about it and thinking about it over and over again. But honestly, maybe that is a reason because everyone's out on Jimmy G. Like, he, there's no chance he's a starter in the NFL next year. And, you know, who knows what, what that situation holds. But maybe that is why, in part of it, because of Jimmy G and now it's Brock Purdy. Instead. Jimmy G led this offense. Matt Ryan led this offense. Mm-hmm. Brock Purdy's leading it better than both of them. And Matt Ryan won an MVP one of the years in which he led this offense. Brock Purdy's doing better than Matt Ryan did that year. Matt Ryan, phenomenal quarterback for a lot of years Mm -hmm. down there in Atlanta, obviously. We all agree with that now with the Colts. I don't know what the hell happened. That was a disaster. Uh, that was just, they, they made him play with ankle weights. It wasn't fair, but for some years. reason. He was old. His line stunk. Yeah, but same line started being really good as soon as he left. Yeah, so you, you can probably, you know. But also there was little cultural issues going on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, a little. Gambling yeah. against, against the, his team. The head guy, you know, he didn't do too well after Indianapolis. No, he didn't. Yeah. But fault. Matt Ryan had great years. Stud. Okay, under the Shanahan yeah. offense. Shanahan offense has had success all over the place. You can kind of look around the NFL and see who's having success with the Shanahan style offense. But what Brock Purdy's doing does not mean that because the style is a good one, that that diminishes what he's been able to accomplish. I love him. I love everything about him. And I like the fact that people are killing him. I think that's only going to help a guy like Brock Purdy, especially as an Iowa State Cyclone, which is obviously the premier team in Iowa, especially whenever him and Brees Hall yeah. are there. Amen. Uh, absolutely not, because he actually never beat Iowa. So, you know, that kind of debunks that right away. But that's neither here nor there, um, because he's playing great. And I actually do love Brock Purdy. But it's interesting, because the thing with Jimmy G, when he was there, it was always like, hey, when this guy's healthy, all he does is win. You know, they never really said anything about I mean, granted, there was a little bit of like the – he excels in Shanahan's system, but no one's saying that about Brock Purdy. Like, hey, despite all this, like all he does is win. He he has looked way better under Shanahan than Jimmy G ever did, mm-hmm. numbers wise and all that kind of stuff. And it is. I mean, it's just we, we've said it a, a thousand times, but it's because he's he's not super boisterous in the media. He's kind of you know he comes in wearing just uh, like an old navy t shirt and jeans. Like he kind of just. <laughs> I mean, he went to Iowa State. You know, he's from Arizona, but he went to Iowa State. Like, he's not flashy, and 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 people, for whatever reason, if you have a bad game, they're going to jump all over that and be like, "Hey, this guy sucks." The, the numbers are were are way better with Brock than Jimmy G. And the, the thing with Jimmy G was always just wait, he's going to make a mistake. It's coming. Brock, on the other hand, if he's not playing well, he has shown already that he is going to play really well in the fourth quarter on a or on a final drive that matters. He has done that many many times. Even the loss, like to the Browns, where yeah. he wasn't playing great, he still marched them down on that on that last drive when he wasn't playing great last week against the Packers. He marched them down on the last drive. He's there when he needs to be there. Yep, yeah, big time player makes big time plays in big time games and moments. And if without Debo, you know the stats are a little bit different. Debo though was seen walking on the sideline, full field, jogging a little bit. Had a ball in his head. Okay. Did they say they did not see any noticeable injury? Like he looked good, right? So yeah. it's his shoulder, so I don't know about how much they could really see. Unless he was doing jumping jacks and both hands were sure. equally. Going through the, he, he wasn't going through the blaster, you know, trying to get, get the ball out. Holding on to ball, ball security, working on it. He's a big piece of it. And George Kittle told us, you know, like, hey, this last game plan uh, that we just had, I thought Debo was going to score three touchdowns. Yep. That's why he, he said going into the game, it's like, okay, Debo is going to eat in this particular game. Debo gets hurt early. They have to adjust completely. Might have been the reason why they weren't playing their best football. Brock obviously had to battle with the rain a little bit, had the glove, didn't have the glove. But once again, he's only in his second year. He has, he has so many things left that he has not even been through. 